Hey there guys, it is Kim George here from YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you guys to a brand spanking new video. Um, your girl has been on the sick and shut in list for those of you that are familiar with, uh, you know, the old school church. <laughs> I'm sure you probably have heard that before, but um, I've been battling the dreaded uh, C19. I'm finally on the mend. I'm um, just hoping that you guys are all staying safe out there. I don't care what the people say. Please still wear your mask. Try to keep safe and all that kinds of stuff because y'all, it is real. <laughs> but I wanted to come to you guys with a brand new video today to answer a question that I have been getting quite a bit on my channel, um, which is, all right, girl, we have watched your video on how to do journal, but uh, can you please tell us how the heck and where the heck do we need to be going to print these things out? <laughs> so I figured that today was a great opportunity to take to give you guys a list of places and services that you can use to do so. So before we dive off into the video, guys, I love for you all to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. But let's go ahead and dive off into the list. Okay, so places where you can go to have your journals printed. Um, number one is going to be none other than Amazon KDP. Um, you guys have heard me mention and talk a lot about Amazon KDP. It is one of the passive income sources that I have and one that I use. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with what um, Amazon KDP is, Amazon KDP is the Kindle Direct publishing platform. Now, KDP used to be synonymous for, you know, for fiction um, and nonfiction books, but as of late, it has become a popular place for self-publishers like ourselves to go and print out uh, uh, low content books. So for those of you that are not familiar with what a low content book is, a low content book is things like journals, notebooks, plan. So in a nutshell, KDP is a print on demand service that you can use to print and sell your journals online. All right, so coming in at number two is going to be lulu.com. Now Lulu is a lot like the Amazon KDP uh, publishing uh, program or publishing platform where you basically, it's print on demand, right? So you go and you upload your files and all of that good stuff to the platform. And then from there, you can essentially just, you know, print your books out and you can sell them. Now, um, Lulu has a lot more options as far as, you know, formats and things that you can print your books out in. Now, the only thing that I will say with Lulu and the biggest difference is that you're not gonna have access to the traffic and the eyeballs that you have access to versus um, that you have access to over on Amazon KDP because let's face it, when people wanna go and shop and find things, they're gonna probably head over to Amazon first to go and look for things, okay? So, but Lulu is another platform where you can go, you can get started for free, you do not have to pay anything to go and print and um, print out your journals and have them for sale. Okay, so coming in at number three is going to be Etsy.com. So Etsy, as you guys know, is a huge platform. There's a ton of sellers. There's a ton of people that are selling, you know, journals, um, notebooks, all kinds of stuff. But specifically for journals, Etsy would make a great platform because like Amazon um, and like Hulu, it has its own in-house um, ecosystem of customers and folks that are on Etsy searching for specific things. Now, with printing your or selling your journals and printing them out over on Etsy, you're gonna get two different types of ways that you can do this. The first way is that you're going to be able to upload your journal interiors and your covers as a digital format and sell them as a digital file where customers, once they purchase from you, can go and print them out and bind them themselves and then also you can also connect your Etsy shop to a print 
on demand service and then have your journals and things printed out that way. Now, this is something that I've discovered recently that I thought was really neat. And I had been hearing people kind of talk about this, about how Etsy is now um, integrating or you can integrate your Etsy shop with a print on demand service so that when, whenever somebody comes to your Etsy shop and they buy a journal from you, the print on demand service itself will do all of the shipping all of the fulfillment, all of the support, everything for you. And this is the same way that Amazon KDP and Lulu works as well. Now, speaking of print on demand services, let's get into a couple of print on demand services that you can use to either connect your Etsy shop to, or you can use these services as standalone services to sell your journals. Okay, so the first service that I wanted to cover for um, printing out your journals and selling them online is going to be printify.com. Now printify.com, as I mentioned, is a print on demand service that you can use 100% free, you can get started for free. And they have over, it looks like 750 different types of products that you can sell. But as far as the uh, journals and things like that goes, again, this is a print on demand service where essentially all you have to do is come in and you basically just upload your interior, you upload your cover, and then you can actually sell your journals from Printify and then Printify is going going to do all of the work for you. Now, it looks like if I come over here to the Printify page, you can kind of see that these are all of the different types of journals and notebooks that they have available. So they have spiral notebooks available, they have wire bound, they have just a regular journal format available with, uh, with a rule line, they have blank journals, hardback journals, um, note spiral notebooks, hard, I mean, there's all kinds of things here. I'm not gonna go through the complete list, but you can see here that they have all of these types of journals available. Now, the thing that you wanna remember is that if you do use a service like Printify to do your to sell and you know to print out and sell your journals you are gonna have to be responsible for making sure that you're driving traffic to your Printify shop in order to do this now again the other way that you can do this where you can have kind of like an in-house kind of traffic source is to connect Printify to your Etsy shop and just sell your journals through Etsy. All right, so coming up next is going to be printful.com. Now, printful.com is another print on demand service like Printify that you can actually use to print out and sell your journals through. Now, again, with just like with Printify, Printful, if you were to set up your own shop just through Printful, you are gonna have to be responsible for driving traffic to your shop in order to make sales. However, if you wanted to use Etsy instead, then you definitely can integrate Printful and connect it to your Etsy shop so that you can sell your journals that way. But with Printful, Printful is a lot like Printify, where they have a ton of different, um, you know, different types of journals, um, journal notebooks, and things like that that you can sell. Now, the one thing that I will that I will tell you and that I see here with Printful that is a little different from um, Printify is that the journal or the stationary section is not as huge as what Printify has. In fact, I only see that they have a notebook here. However, you know, in my opinion, you still could do pretty good with this because you could, um, you know, basically frame this as a journal of sorts because journal and, no journal and notebooks, they kind of go hand in hand, right? So you can do either or. But um, this is a service that you can connect to your Etsy shop um, in order to sell and print off your journals from. Right. So coming up next is going to be none other than my favorite, which is going to be payhip.com. You guys hear me talk all about pay hip, pay hip, pay hip, because I absolutely love it. Um, I have a pay hip shop that I use to sell, you know, journal covers, journal interiors, um, all of that good stuff. But you could actually use pay hip to sell your journals 
as a digital file. So here again, if you sell your journals from using a service like PayHip as a digital file, you definitely um, are gonna have to instruct your uh, the people that buy from you that they would have to go and find a print shop or um, somewhere locally where they can print off the journals or even print them off at their home and then bind them themselves. But PayHip is still an excellent platform that you can use to sell your journals as a digital file. I do it all the time and I absolutely love it. Okay, so coming up next on the list is going to be none other than gumroad.com. So Gumroad, for those of you who have um, who are um, familiar with this, Gumroad is a lot like PayHip, right? Well, this is basically an online platform that you can use to sell your products digitally and in digital format. So just like with PayHip, with Gumroad, you would just basically open up an account. You can start one for free. You would then upload your journal interior and the covers and the back cover as a digital file, AKA a PDF file, and then you can sell it as a digital file only okay now when somebody comes in and they download it again you're going to just have to put instructions in the file to let them know that they can go and print it off either at their home or take it to a local print shop in their area area to get the journal printed off to do whatever it is that they want to do with it right to get it bound all of that good stuff okay so i just wanted to point that out and then coming up last but not least is going to just be a local print shop in your area so i've had a lot of people say hey listen i really don't want to have a middleman cut in to my profits with using a print on demand service like um you know like a printify or a printful or even kdp i kind of just want to do everything myself then if you want to do that if you want to basically just go in and design your journals and just you know be in charge of printing them out yourself and shipping them yourself then guys the best thing that you can do is to partner with a local print shop somewhere in your area to have that done for you now i know that there is a lot of print shops that will probably you know give you some kind of deal based on the quantity that you're going to have to be you know that you want to be printed out and all of that kinds of stuff so what i would recommend that you do is just head over to like google and just type in local print shop in whatever area you're in so i'm in the dallas texas area so i would just go in and just google local print shop in dallas texas call up some of the print shops see what kind of deals they're offering see if you can spark up some kind of partnership with them and then that way you can get your journals printed locally and just be responsible for all of the shipping and all of that kinds of stuff yourself so i hope that this big mega list <laughs> of different um resources and ways that you can actually go and print off your journals has been helpful i'm so sorry that it's taken me so long guys to get this list together for you all but again i hope that you take this run with it share it like all of that kind of stuff um, pass this along to someone who you think would benefit from this but i do hope that this helps you guys get some ideas kind of churning in your head on ways that you can print off and sell your journals okay so thanks so much for watching this video guys you guys again take care out there be safe and i will see you in the next video cheers